book number 21. The title is Extra Yarn, written and illustrated by two of our favorite authors, Mac Burnett and John Classen. This book is one of our favorite family read-alouds, and it's also a Caldecott honor book for its great artwork. It's about a girl named Annabelle who lives in an all-black-and-white world where everything is totally drab. One day, she finds a box filled with yarn of every color, so she makes herself a sweater. After she finishes her sweater, she has extra yarn left, so she knits a sweater for her do dog, her classmates, bunnies, and bears. And, and then she still has extra, so, so then she, she makes sweaters for things that don't usually wear them, such as cars, mailboxes, and houses. Soon, an evil ar archduke hears about the magic box of never-ending yarn, and he wants it for his own. So he offers a lot of money for it, but she still doesn't want to give it away. So the archduke steal, steals the box, but he doesn't get away with it. I really like the premise of the story, which is that the that that the yarn doesn't run out as long as she uses it for good and not just for herself. And I like the message to share your good fortune to make the world better rather than just keep it for yourself. Also, um, also I I love how the gr girl spreads good knitting since I love to knit too. I love the illustrations. They are funny and really show how much the girl made a positive impact on the world. I like how the illustration gradually, cha gradually changes from all black and white to really colorful, which emphasizes how she made the word be world better and brighter and more colorful, one piece at a time. And the surprise ending is great, too. Please donate this fun and magical book for our library at Chalk Hospital.